Hi, I'm Emma Doherty, and welcome back to the 970-70 Show. This week, on Tuesday, there's a girls' tennis match versus Park Girls at 4. There will also be a baseball game versus Rex Putnam at 5. Later that night, there's a girls' lacrosse game versus Lakers at 745. On Friday, there's a softball game versus Milwaukee at 430. Now, Lexi's going to bring us along to a girls' lacrosse vlog. <laughs> I got another ginger. Okay, this isn't going to stay. We just lost. <laughs> Yeah, we lost 15 to like 12, 13. 12, 12, 12, 12. So by three, so it was a pretty sore loss. So we're getting McDonald's. Finally we scored got again. Finally scored again. Let's go. Oh yeah, crazy. Let's go. I literally cannot do that Can't again. <laughs> Why do I look like a channel? <laughs> Uh, can we please show them the boys pull apart donut? Lexi, yeah, let me, let me, so we are waiting for our fries and then Grace sees this. Oh, it's limited time. But you can eat it and I'll just smell it. Friday. This is <laughs> this is gonna be the what's it called? When it like the YouTube Wait, video? Why can't we be in a McDelivery store? <laughs> this is a, oh, this is a reserved drive there, okay. Oh, God. Hey, guys. So, <coughs> so I have a life hack for you. It just feels so forced. I have a life hack for you. Keep this in. Keep this in. If you're an insomniac, <laughs> I'm not saying I am. I have a feeling we're gonna be abducted because how are we I mean, Fiona and I are we're watching Take Off. Take Off. Take Off. Me and Fiona are watching. <laughs> Fiona and I are watching. Okay. Uh, fuck um, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, guess, that's yes, our fries. Okay. Grace also has a 1990s car, so that's the lock. No, it's 2005. And this is how you roll down the window. Can we do a car tour next time? Yeah, let's do a car tour. You have to like pump it. it. Show them. Like, Oh, this lady's coming to bring us fries, but I don't want to show her that I am. Thank you so much. Have a good night. All right, Thank reserved. You. You're being filmed. No. I'm coming. Okay, guys. So. <laughs> we just bought them. <laughs> we bought them in now. <laughs> so, if you are ever in your bed <laughs> and you're like, God damn, I definitely drank that Celsius a little bit too. Oh, balls, I need a melatonin tonight. And you already took your melatonin and you're just like laying in bed and your body's exhausted, but your brain will not let you go to sleep. Open up Spotify, okay? Okay. And go to wow. Erotic Island. <laughs> what a... no, a... ah! Get away! We just broke the lock. Open up Spotify and search up. Nothing much happens. Bedtime stories. <laughs> I kid you not. Listen, listen to the one about cleaning the pantry. <laughs> Babe, you'll be oh, in two minutes. <laughs> two minutes because if you're an anxious sleeper like me and cleaning is the only thing that helps you, <gasps> listening about somebody organizing their pantry while you're trying to go to bed will just oh, call you out. Or open up TikTok and listen to ASMR. <laughs> I just can't. I don't do that. That's so gross. Let's not people tell stories about cleaning their pantry to make them fall asleep. Right? No, there's one called Crumb Comes Home. It's called Crumb Comes Home and it's about this dog. Mm -hmm. That's at the shelter and he gets adopted and his name is Crumb. Oh. Um, I'm trying to think about the one that I listened to last night. Like, I literally woke up with my ear bottom oh. Um, It was about cleaning your desk. Oh, it's about spring cleaning. There's been a lot about cleaning lately, and I just gotta say, this is the content for me. Cleaning? Oh, so I think I swore. So maybe put bleep. Thanks so much, Lexi. Now Cole is gonna bring us along to a fun segment.
Hello guys, today we're gonna be reviewing the the Baconator from Wendy's. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, today may I please get a Baconator? Just a sandwich or a meal? Just the, or the meal please. Okay, what size and grain? Medium Dr. Pepper please. Mm -hmm. All right, anything else? That'll be all. Okay, good. check the window. Here's my first bite impression of the Baconator. Mm. That's very fancy, I need a doctor. Mm. There's ketchup on my nose. Mm. Very good. Very ru uh, rustic artisanal flavors. Uh, makes me feel like I'm back at the farm with grandma and grandpa. Like we just, uh, you know, had some nice winter dinner. We played some cards at dinner. Right, guys, just finished the Baconator. <clears throat> actually went back to give the compliments to my chef. Uh, you might have actually heard of him. His name is Mr. Gordon Ramsay of the Baconator, the chef. And I defeated the Baconator. I won the challenge. It was very, uh, a very scrumptious meal. I loved it. 10 out of 10 would enjoy again. Thank you. Back to, uh, back to Emma in the studio. Thanks so much, Cole. Thanks for joining us this week. See you later, Wildcats.